For the UCAT decision making, here are some tips for on the day the things that you can do to maximize your score. In the decision making, there are only six types of questions that come up. So in that minute, while you're twiddling your thumbs, you might as well sit down and write them all out so that you can at least mentally prepare for what's about to come. And maybe if there are a couple that you are not so confident with, you might be inclined to skip them a bit more readily if they're one of your areas of weakness and then flag them and come back. And off the bat, you might want to write on the whiteboard, maybe asterisks, the ones that you think that you are more likely to skip if you should want to. So again, you can have a tally of how many skips you're allowed. In this, it's out of 29. So 19 would give you about 700, which means that you can probably skip about five and then assuming that you maybe get five incorrect, then that would give you a 700 score, which is pretty good. Decision making is typically about the middle ground for how well people do generally. So you should be aiming to do quite well on this. If you're good at it, try and do minimal skips, but about a 700 is kind of the lower end of where you should be aiming really.